Good afternoon, designers, and welcome to episode 31 of Game of Frogs. I am not exactly sure how 31 episodes have happened, but I guess addiction is like that. So here we are. I have very few results to share today. I have exactly one, bold in white. The only thing I remember about this room is that my room was neither white nor bold. So let's see how we did. <sighs> it's such a toss up with this rug. I mean, it's a very plain room. I, I accept that. Um, but it is such a toss up with this rug. I either score fives or I score bupkis. This is much more towards the bupkis end. But I guess that's okay. And it's over a four, so I won this, which I really like. I wonder if it comes with gin. That would be really nice. I'd be super into that. Um, and let's see. I saw somebody submit this room, and that is brave. I mean, that is a color-saturated room. I know it's all blue, but it's very saturated, and uh, wow. I mean, it's definitely not to my taste, but that does not mean that I don't admire it, because I totally admire that. And then we've got tons of turquoise. This is my surprised face. Uh, I mean, it's pretty, and do you know something? I'm such a horrible person. I'm so mean. Um, I don't really like these prints, which is why I'm just like, whatever. Um, but they do go really nicely with this rug. And also I have a really, really sneaking suspicion that when I get to level 43, I will suddenly love these turtle prints. So there you go. Um... I really like th this room. I mean, obviously I don't like the turquoise furniture, but I do really love, these are so great and they're so cheap and I buy the hell out of those. Okay, thanks honey. Um, and that was my husband. Uh, and I love those too. Level 37, that's something to look forward to. Anyway, there are a number of things that I like about this room. So that, that's a good job. This one is different. It's uh, black and red and white. I mean, I don't actually think this is the best example of a black and red and white room. But it is nice. And my very first five was on a black and red and white room. And I won it when I was level six. I was very proud of myself. Oh my God. Okay, thanks, honey. Um, I like this. I'm surprised that I like this. I think it's the preponderance of brown. I, I, I think I like this more because this designer made more of the brown in the room um, that went goes with the brown in that turtle print. And I do actually prefer this. I think it's nice. And this one is my favorite. I love these chairs and sofa with this rug. And this person also made a lot of the brown by choosing their coffee table, the frames on their palm prints, and the side table. I know um, I'm familiar with a lot of these items. And I really like them. Uh, this is very, very pretty. That is hella expensive, you guys. It is almost $9,000. And it is not a prize. This person, Daryl Lorenzo, God bless him, paid out nine grand to buy that credenza. And it was such a good choice. This is really, really a nice, nice room. And boyfriend was not cheap. This is also a really nice side table. 
And uh, what is that coffee table? This is a this is a prize from Brownstone. Okay. Anyway, I am very, very, very impressed by this room. Really, really like that. Okay, good job, Daryl. And um, so, yeah, Daryl walked all over mine. I'm surprised I got over a four. So congratulations to all of those winners. And uh, we're going to do some voting. The voting I have is the Salem um, Craftsman, which is this light green bedroom, which I do really like. Um, it looks like we have some good rooms maybe lined up for this voting. Uh, but I wanted to go see what I did for this room so that I'm not just, you know, talking out my ear about other people's rooms. I will say that I did this room and I quite fancy myself. I think this is a good job. I really like this room. Love the bed. Uh, so let's go have a vote and be nosy and see what other people did. I do like this. Obviously, the top room doesn't have a rug, so we're not going to talk about that. I do really like this bottom room. That rug is nice. It's new. It seems to me the new rugs seem expensive to me, but what do I know? All of the new rugs are like two, two and a half grand. That just seems like a lot. Um, and I like the dark green chair with the dark green bench. This was a recent prize, I think. And I don't know where the dark green chair comes from. No, it's just a it's just a chair that costs three grand. Nice job. Nice job. Um and I also use this basket in this room. It just seems like I used my last basket. Um, but it just seemed like the right because of the floor color, I think it just seems like it goes so well. It tones so nicely. Um, but this person built a really nice color story, so good for them. They definitely get my upvote. Uh, again, the room on the bottom. The room on the top has no rug. Dude, buy a rug. Literally just stick that jute rug in there and you will be covered. I like... Uh, okay, so... A couple of things I like about this room. First of all, I have been seeing a ton of this lamp, which is annoying because I bought mine. I paid money for mine. I mean, I paid, oops, sorry, I paid diamonds for mine, um, and I didn't win it as a prize. And then I won it as a prize or something? I don't know. Um, look at this. This person has been holding on to this centerpiece since October. It's almost a year old, you guys, and it looks really, really cute on top of the chest of drawers that's there, and I am 100% here for this Joy ba Bird Bench, Joy Bird Bench, say that quickly three times, with this apartment TV chair in this green color, and I love the choice of the artwork on the walls. And I love the choice of tree. And I even really like this ottoman. So I like everything in this room. I don't know if it's a five, but I really like this room a lot. So I'm definitely giving it my vote. Room on the bottom has no rug. Room on the top is working with the same idea as the last room that we just looked at, but it's not as well executed. It doesn't matter for the purposes of our voting for this room as the other room does not have a rug. So we're definitely voting for this room. Take my vote. Take it. Congratulations, Megan. Nice job. What is it? What does all these people who are not using rugs? Okay, so the bottom doesn't have a rug and the top I'm not a fan, not a fan of this room. It's not very well coordinated, but it does have, you know, everything in it. It has a rug, it has art, it has table decor. So what am I really complaining about? I don't like either one of these. Hmm. The room on the bottom is a good room until we get to this deco piece of art on the wall which is just a decor tragedy. 
in this room. It this is it's it's just a tragedy. It has no business being there. I'm not sure if you had nothing else. Is it you know if you're if you're broke um, and you have only this one piece of art and you have to choose where to put it, or you're broke and you have only the one piece of art above the chest of drawers plus this piece of art over the bed. I think I would have taken the piece of art that's over the chest of drawers, hung it over the bed, and not used this gold. Or possibly I might have switched them, but whatever. Um, and this is not great. Uh... The, that, that bright green brand bench is not doing anybody any favors. I do like the rug. So, okay, I'm going to suck it up and vote for the room on the bottom. Nice job, Cha-Cha. Congratulations. And, like, this one is uh, 12 million dining rooms that all look exactly the same, so I'm not really that into that. Uh, what else do we have going on? I am the only challenges that I am waiting to enter. I did today's daily. I don't even remember what that was. And I've been sitting on top of this room. I am waiting for uh, another, what, 10 hours until I can borrow a Black Noir cocktail table from a good-hearted friend. Um, Maybe that one. I mean, I really love the uh, gold coffee table that I had in there, but it obviously it doesn't qualify. I have to replace it with something. And uh, I had bought these chairs for another challenge, so they all fit into the decor of this room. So I thought I'd just uh, do this challenge, as it definitely isn't tropical. And all these other ones are tropical and... Oh, wait, no, there's a new one. A new one that has just arrived. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm so bored at this point from not having rooms to decorate that I probably will just go and buy three Cynthia Raleigh items just to have a room to decorate. Oh, I like this room. I am excited. Oh, and you can see the gherkin out the window. The it's a, If you don't know, the gherkin is that... Uh, we're going to politely say bullet shaped building that you can see out the window of this and it's so reflective that it basically you can fry eggs on sidewalks and the whole thing's just been a nightmare but what can you do so it's a famous building in london so this this is a flat that will cost about 2.5 million pounds oh it's a writer yeah, this writer can't believe how lucky she was to find a place in Chelsea. Okay, well, I guess she's a best-selling author. This writer is a best-selling author because she's somehow in Chelsea with a view of this. Of, okay. <sighs> Maybe they could just write me, hire me to write geographically accurate location copy. Or coordinate photos with locations so that the photos look like they actually come from the locations. That would be fun. Uh, all right. So that's about the, all I have. And I just wanted to quickly check on some results from my neighbors and Facebook friends. And I can't even remember if I entered this, but let's have a look. So my design home friend Cheryl did this room, and I love it. I love the leaf print, the tropical leaf print art on the walls. I love the peacocks. They're really great. Um, that uh, on the top of the uh, dresser on the right is a the peacock. No, it's not a peacock. The flamingo and pineapple stack of books. That came from a previous limited edition, and I love the green and white lamp, and it's just a really nice room, 
and I know it's hard to see behind her name, but the ottoman, the uh, bedside table, the side table next to the chair is pink. So this all goes together really, really nicely. She consistently does really nice rooms and scores very well. She's like a consistent high fours and fives player. So um, congratulations, Cheryl. And I actually like hers better than any of these other ones that I'm looking at. Yeah, I don't really like that. This is my design home for Nancy. That's a nice room. I'm not mad about it, but it's nice. Mm. We looked at those. These are the ones that just came out. We just looked at in the voting. This is also Cheryl's room. Uh, I'm glad that people had stuff to put in this room. I didn't, so I skipped this. And even though Cheryl done a nice job in this room, I don't like the room itself. So I'm not into any of these. I just feel like it's pink vomit. And Cheryl also did this one. She is on a streak. Go Cheryl. Good job. Ooh, I like, sorry, I like this person's choice to use lattice outdoor furniture on this indoor room. That's a good choice. Not mad about that one. Ooh, or that one. Or that one. Huh, okay. So yeah, we looked at a couple of those yesterday as well. Anyhow, that's everything that I've done. All my votes. All the rooms I have waiting to go up. And I guess that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if you liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more episodes of Game of Rugs, please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Have a great day.